Let's talk about some specific treatments that you use. I think one of the interesting ones is IV uh, vitamin C. Um, how does that work and what can that be successful for? Well, you know, when you look at vitamin C, it's a wonderful ingredient. Um, in, in biochemistry, we're talking about oxidation, uh, oxidative therapies, and we're talking about uh, antioxidants, oxidants and antioxidants. So vitamin C in a low, if you use a low dose of vitamin C, is an antioxidant. And we use high doses, like uh, low dose would be 5,500 milligrams to up to 10, 15 grams, which is very unusual, but 500 milligrams twice a day is considered a normal dose. But when you use it in high doses, it becomes an oxidant. So in cancer, we use like, we start uh, go up to 110, sometimes up to 200 grams. Or, you know, so when you use that high of a dose, it, it creates uh, an oxidation and has properties of killing the cancer cells. So uh, that's been proven, really. Uh, studies have been done, not accepted uh, widely, but they have been done. So it's, it's a wonderful thing to, to use. It's very benign. I've been doing this now for, gosh, 15, 20 years. I never had anybody that had a problem with vitamin C. Now, there is an enzyme that you have to be careful that you, that you have plenty of, a G6PD, okay? And usually, uh, you know, the African-Americans have a small percentage of have a low enzyme, and so the Northern Europeans of, of Scandinavia extract also have that issue. So you have to check a blood test to see if they have, if they have low, the G6PD is low, then you have to be careful so you don't cause hemolysis. So over the years, maybe I've seen a couple, three people that had very low G6PD, and of course I didn't give them the, use something other than vitamin C. But I would say probably one of the safest things to use in, in, in cancer management with vitamin C is probably one of the best things we can do. It, to me, it's not controversial. It has relatively no side effects if you know what you're doing, and uh, everybody tolerates it. Mm -hmm. And you can't do that orally, right? You can't reach those amounts orally no, you can't or try because to. You're going to have diarrhea. You need okay. to use it intravenously. Okay.